Hello Aries, my friends. Welcome to your weekly reading. So we're gonna do um, spiritual guidance spread. <laughs> this is so funny. This nightingale is getting all over the place. It was in the Aquarius reading, it was in the Pisces reading, and now it's on the split for your reading. It's always darkest before the dawn. I guess that's the message, eh? It's always darkest right before the dawn. So we're going to look at your uh, spiritual guidance, basically your life. What's going on with your life, man? What do you need to do? That's what it is. Your spiritual journey is your life, right? So primary concern, we're going to start with the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Oracle deck. And then I'm going to go into the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Tarot deck. Spiritual journey. What is the primary concern at this time for Aries in their spiritual journey? Oh, wow. The raccoon and the star fish. Sorry. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Until <laughs> I tell you how I interpret that. Wow. The bottom is the wolf. I kind of, that feels like, I know it's not doesn't have the fire symbol, um, alchemical symbol. It has earth, but it feels very emperor to me, the wolf. Now this is interesting. Uh, this is kind of mean to me like the hermit and the star card in the tarot. It's like going from hermit mode into shining, like shining brightly, being a star in a way. Going from hermit mode to like being out in the open. <laughs> I don't know, it seems kind of scary, right? Like, <laughs> it's like I'm getting used to myself. I'm getting used to just staying in the house, doing my garden. So let's see what else comes out here. And there, it's interesting that the wolf is the underline. It's like, I don't know, maybe Aries, you're, you've, you kind of been hiding something good, some sort of good quality, it's time to come out and really shine it. It's time to come out of raccoon mode. It's time to come out of this very grounded energy and go into the water. So let's see what comes out in the tarot. Jeez, this seems complicated. Well, the ending is good. <laughs> it's getting there. Oh, jeez. Look at you at the bottom of the tower. I say that's like Aries Scorpio energy. Either you're about to make a tower moment or one's about to be made for you. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be okay. Because here, possible, before we get into everything, the possible result if you follow all the advice in this spread, is the world, right? So having the world at your fingertips, a brand new cycle. The cycle to end all cycles. The cycle to end all cycles. Oh, all right, I'm going to show you what each card represents. So what is your motivation for guidance here? The Son of Cups is kind of like the Page of Cups. Sort of feels like moving forward um, in a very gentle innocent way like you're through your feelings how do you do that that's like your guidance here Air in your life you're anxious about is the two of pentacles it kind of feels like combining two elements of your life to produce something new with the butterfly you're anxious about combining two elements of your life to hatch out into this new cycle And the energy affecting you that you're not aware of is the Mother of Wands or the Queen of Wands. <laughs> I want to say, Aries, you may not be aware of how sexy you are. Because the Queen of Wands is kind of like a very sexy, dynamic, 
um, hot and spicy, confident energy. Now, what's interesting is this one, she's got, she's protecting the eggs there. She's protecting the eggs. So maybe you are, maybe you are aware of that. If you have that, she would be like, be like, Aries, be like, yeah, I know I got that going on. No, um, but this nurturing aspect, because this snake, is, she's protecting her eggs. She's very nurturing, very, very protective too. So this is affecting you somehow that you're not aware of. So now the advice card here is the Ten of Wands. Drop the burden. Whatever that burden is, to drop it, we're going to find out. To complete a cycle. This completes a cycle. Because look, at your possible result is a brand new cycle. A very big, very significant cycle in your life. One that's not likely to end. One that's only likely to grow and expand and transform. Best way to move away from your worries is the Five of Swords. Walk away from what's not serving you. Cut that right out. <laughs> cut it out. Something's not serving you to cut it right out. Now, how to move forward in a positive light? You need to make a choice here. <laughs> you need to make a choice. What's that choice going to be? Which way are you going to go? You have two twos here. You have the two pentacles and the two of swords. Really, like, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? And a new result, though, is the world. I kind of, no matter what you do, you might be in a good, well, this is about following the advice. This is, you know, if you follow the advice. Let's look um, at the raccoon. Why have you been in this little hermit mode? It looks like you're trying to jump from the raccoon to the star. Raccoon. What's going on with the Aries and the raccoon? Aries and the raccoon? Nothing? <laughs> oh, jeez. The King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Really working on, um, I want to say, like, maybe you've just been really focused on home and work and juggling that. Home and work and juggling that. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to combine those two. You know, that's what you're anxious about here. The star, the starfish. The starfish card in Aries. That came out first. Wow, two fours followed by a tower. Justice in the sun. Yeah, you need to get out a bit. You need to get out a little bit there. Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups, the Tower, the Justice card, and the Sun. <laughs> See, these fours are telling me too, like being kind of stuck, staying in. Staying in, being kind of stuck, nesting, keeping to yourself. But there's a tower moment here. And in that tower moment, you're going to find justice, balance, wish fulfillment, and happiness. <laughs> so go. That's kind of like shining your light very brightly. That is definitely shining your light very brightly, Aries. So, yeah. It's time to maybe step away from all of this work and home balance that you've been doing to get out, <laughs> to get out and shine your light. We're gonna get more in the tower though. This tower brings you justice. How that comes in, I don't know yet, but it's underlying. It is one of the underlines. So it is, uh, being an underlying is kind of like the reason for the reading. And this wolf is kind of the reason for the reading, the underlying. So it's like this emperor tower energy. Leader, leadership in your life, control of your life. Taking your life in the course that you want to. And perhaps in this way, that is the tower moment. The son of cups, your motivation for guidance at this time. Oh. Your energy is really coming out strong here. The Fool card. 
So there you are again. Kind of taking a leap of faith. Taking a little risk here. Taking a little risk and seeing where it takes you. The leading a bit with your heart. Don't overthink it then. Right? If you're leading, if you're... Your motivation here is how to lead with your heart. It's just to, to, to go for it. <laughs> that's what you would do. Because that's that childlike energy. Just go for it. Just see what happens. The area in your life you're anxious or disheartened about is this Two of Pentacles. So maybe you are tired of being... <laughs> maybe you are tired of being like cooped up and just doing like all this work and home, work and home, work and home. And maybe you work from home. See, I do that. I work from home. I don't go anywhere. So yeah, you kind of get inside for a little while and you stay there. So the two of pentacles, area in your life you're anxious about. The queen of swords, she's been really popping out a lot this week already. Like as a clarifier. Some sort of truth here to discover. Cutting something out or being cut out. What is this queen of swords about? Discovering your truth, making that choice to go towards your Ten of Pentacles, to go towards happy, fulfillment, abundance. Defining what that is, too, with the King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Defining what that is for you. Okay, so the Mother of Wands is what's affecting you and you're not aware of it. So how is this affecting Aries if they're not aware of it? Ooh. The Three of Swords, the Three of Wands with the Eight of Wands. So your ship is coming in. The ship is coming in basically, Aries. The ship is coming in. Whatever that ship is for you, Because this, this is the Queen of Wands. So it's telling you that your ship is coming in. Either that's through communication or movement. The advice here is to drop the burdens. So let's see what that is. Drop the burdens. The Ten of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Strength. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Ooh, I want to say like maybe even dropping the burden of doing everything on your own. Doing everything on your own here, like from the three to the one and the strength. Because the Hermit is like this, kind of this isolated energy. So coming out too. If you've been in like your Ace of Pentacles, if you've been staying in home or you've been staying working on perhaps some sort of new work or something, it's time to kind of collaborate. The Five of Swords is the best way for you to move away from your worries. Uh, cut something out here. What do you got to cut out? The Knight of Swords, the Star, and the Temperance. I feel like something's going to get cut out for you. It's like something's going to get cut out for you. And in doing so... It brings in this star energy and this temperance energy, which are both very divine energies. It's kind of like, um, like earth angel kind of energy. 
Something that's not been working is getting cut out for something that is very balanced here. Both of these, um, the star and the temperance are both balancing the water. Emotional balance here. There is emotional balance in this when something gets cut out. How does this get cut out? How does this get cut out? Wow, the wheel. So the circumstances and situations have changed and there's a lot like movement coming towards you. So very passion moves. Like this Knight of Swords comes in to cut something out that hasn't been working. If it's been bad luck or bad situation or bad timing, whatever it is, feels like bad timing because temperance is all about divine timing. Temperance is definitely a big part of that is divine timing, the right time for something to happen. And it kind of feels like now or where you're moving towards. Bad timing, bad circumstances have been cut out and better energy is coming in here, much better energy. How to move forward in a positive light, the Two of Swords. Oh no, I see that came out first and now I see why, or it came out last. Look at this, you have the Hierophant, the Three of Cups and the Five of Cups. So this is about making a choice, how to move forward in a positive light is to make a choice. If you're sitting here like, how, what do I choose? Which way do I go? Do I do this? Do I, do I not do this? Whatever that is for you. But whatever is like the Hierophant is a deeper spiritual calling, a deeper spiritual commitment. It is a commitment too. And look at the Three of Cups. How do you choose that? If, if in the past, the Three of Cups have ended up spilt on the ground. Remember, there's always two cups in the back to pick up. If these three cups, you know, at one time, they were happiness, and then they end up spilt on the ground, but you don't forget that there's two cups in the background. So making the choice. The way to make the choice here is to go towards what feels like a deeper spiritual connection, a deeper spiritual calling for you. And remember that if things have not worked out in the past, there's still these two cups to pick up. The world card. The world. The Seven of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So this world is bringing an end, this world, this new cycle is bringing an end. This is the possible result if you follow the advice, and we're going to go over the advice again for you, because I know that there's a lot of information that comes out in this reading. So this is going to bring an end to, um, like, trying to figure out what all your possibilities are, Trying to dream up what you'd like to have. If you've been hurt in the past and you've been going through like a healing, a time of healing, it's kind of saying that that's coming to an end here. That's coming to an end. It's time to pick up those two cups, right? Oh, yeah. Because the ten of cups is at the bottom. There's the happiness, the happy ever after. The wish fulfillment, the true wish fulfillment. Because your advice here, if we remember, was the Ten of Wands. And it feels like it's dropping a burden. Something to you that has to represent... I want to say going it on your own. Like collaborating again. Working with others again. This brings you strength. So perhaps you found your full strength up to this point with whatever you've been doing. You know, the raccoon, if you've been staying in, you've been working on stuff, you've been working on healing, helping yourself. That's the advice here. Drop that burden. Go out. Get out there. Because this is tower moment. Let's, okay, the ten of cups was at the bottom. 
let's try to get let's see if we get any information out of this tower moment for you. The tower moment for Aries. Yeah, that it, it is the world. The tower moment is the king of cups with the world. So there you go. <laughs> There's, you're going into a new cycle with a lot of um, feelings and emotions here. You know, you could be dealing with a Pisces too. Because Pisces had the tower, they had the world, and you have the, the king of cups. I haven't done um, Capricorn, no, not Capricorn. Cancer or um, Scorpio. There's also Leo here twice. You have Leo and Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius. You have actually a lot of come to the show. Uh, now we finish with the Five of Wands. Actually, that yeah, I think they had the Five. I think um, Pisces had the Five of Wands too. Like not being all in their head too much. <laughs> there you go. That's interesting. There you go, Aries. So it's time to get out. It's time to shine your light. And it's time to walk into a new cycle. Okay? So if you're not done healing, take the next few days to finish healing. And there you go. All right? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.